tell me. But let me tell you, I don't regret any of it. Because everything I have experienced has done nothing more than to make me, a, make me a better person today. Mecha has taught me that my commitment is to la causa, not to control freaks, not to this institution, not to one person or one opinion, but to my pueblo. We reject the anglicizing of our people and to continue to pr be proud of our indigenous heritage. We proclaim that we are people of Aslan, dedicated, dedicated to the liberation of our Chicana and Chicano nation. Machista strive for self-determination and the self-respect that comes with the affirmation of our cultura and dignidad. Mecha recognizes that not one is born political, but through self-awareness and cultural identity, political consciousness has nothing more but to follow. The commitment to our raza and the sacrifice to la causa is in our obligation, not our burden. Therefore today, Mecha gives thanks to Cesar and takes to, heart, takes to heart his word of wisdom. His words of wisdom, I quote, Students must have, in, have initiative. They should not be mere imitators. They must learn and think and act for themselves and be free. Now my Chicana hermanas y hermanos and our non-Chicana and Chicano brothers and sisters, we ask you to join together as we move forward in demanding a Chicana and Chicana, Chicano Studies Department. This is a struggle towards which Mecha will be working. Now I will address every component of our Chicano community on the UW campus. First, we ask our Chicana and Chicano students to not sit on the sidelines because if it had not been for those people who weren't waiting for someone else to do it for them, you would not be in these institutions. To the other student organizations, we ask you to support us in our calling for a Chicana and Chicano Studies Department. We urge you to do the same. We will stand by you and we will fight with you. For our Chicano Studies professors, we ask you that you join us in this effort to departmentalize Chicano Studies. We not only hold you accountable to strengthen the curriculum to meet the needs of Chicano students, we want you to align with us in the fight for Chicana and Chicano studies. We want you to actively participate in the task of securing the department. Because with you or without you, we are going to get this accomplished. Finally, outreach and retention. We ask that you work with us. We ask that you incorporate Mecha in every facet of your recruitment and retention effort. Chicano Studies was created, created to facilitate Chicana and Chicano access to education. We must keep producing activists to enable the Chicano Studies program to become a department. We have had a program for so long, it's about time the university recognizes its lack of commitment to the fair and equal education for Chicano and other disenfranchised groups. Just as words run true in the 60s, and they ring, ring true today. Years of misguided teaching have resulted in the destruction of the best in our society. It is beyond words what can describe the happiness and passion many of us feel when we remember and honor our leaders such as, such as Cesar Chavez. I will not speak of Cesar in the past tense, but in the present and future, because that is what he is, our present struggle and future victories. He symbolizes the Chicanitas and Chicanitos back in the body who aspire to be like him, who are like him, but who, who need our help in reaching their potential. He signifies our parents whose daily reality is to work and sleep and sustain us. Is a picture of us Chicanos and Chicanas that have made it beyond the walls of despair. Who managed to move into the academic world of assimilation, yet regardless we have stood our ground and rebelled against an institution that expected us to forget. And if not forget, to at least hide our pride in our community, our culture, and our brothers and sisters. In simpler words, kill, kill ourselves, if not physically, spiritually, and psychologically. And I ask you, who have questioned our strength and our endurance, who have depicted us as lazy and deceitful, without integrity and courage. To them I say, have you ever really taken the time to learn about us Chicanas and Chicanos, our families, our pueblo, our history? This has advocated for justice of humanity, of the disenfranchised, who, who had literally nothing but the clothes on their backs and the pride of their hearts. Yet they fought and struggled because they truly believed in justice. They believed in la causa and wished for a better tomorrow. I'd like to close with Cesar's words on this, special, on this very special day. There's no turning back. We will win. We are winning. Because ours is a revolution of mind and heart. Que viva la causa!
and thank you very much for listening to our words, and I hope you um, enjoy the rest. Desiree will say a few words tonight. I would also like to thank you for coming. You're very, uh, I don't even have a best word to express it right now. Bear with me, please, and don't lose your energy. This is more like a poem. Hola, y adios. That's all the Spanish that ever came out of my mouth in the last 18 years. Being the fourth generation here does have its punishment, only if you allow it. Is this my grandparents' fault, my parents' fault, or mine? That I didn't learn the language that is only linked to my ancestors. I have a disability. And that is because I, who am Chicana, I can't even speak the words of my rasa. Grapes. One of my favorite foods to eat. All juicy and plump, dripping with sweet and sour flavor. But who picked these grapes? A question I never asked myself. And the funny thing is that my parents also knew this, but they didn't teach me. Just like the Spanish, they also knew but didn't teach. A savior, a saint, and a leader. A man who took a stand for his people and led them to change. A hero to many, plus more. And most of all, a leader to me. Me. A person who wants things to change, set the record straight, and learn Spanish to take leadership. I will follow Senator Chavez's lead. And then I will take each of them. Okay, I want to make a few announcements. This afternoon, in Union South, at 3.30 p.m., there will be a panel discussion of Chicano politics, past, present, and future, and the larger rubric is the state of Chicano politics. Ernesto Chacón, who will also address us today, will be there. Jesus Salas will be there, and Dora Zuniga will be there uh, to uh, present their views on our condition. Also, uh, this evening at, at 6.30 p.m. at the Madison Campus Ministry, 731 State Street Mall, at the chapel at 6.30 p.m., I repeat, there will be a performance by Teatro Unido, and we'll have a lot of cultural entertainment to commemorate the anniversary of the birth of Cesar Chavez, so we welcome you to all of those other events. Okay, I want to move things along, and I want to invite up to the uh, microphone Lori Morrison of the United Farm Workers Midwest Coordinator. Let's hear it for Lori. Thank <laughs> you. 